Oh, this is the lab safety quiz video? With all of the information. Yes. Okay, these are reagent bottles. Reagent bottles. This is an Erlen Meyer flask. Erlen Meyer, yeah. Erlen Meyer. Yeah. This is a ring stand with iron ring and string. This is a Florence flask. Remember, the Florence flask can stand. But the boiling flask does not. This is a beaker. Yes, beaker. This is a funnel. This is a micro well. This is a graduated cylinder. Okay. This is a crucible with lid. This is a test tube, and it goes in the test tube rack. Yes. This is a clay triangle. See, it's made of clay and it's a triangle. Yes. This is an evaporating dish with watch glass. This is litmus paper. Litmus. We have both blue and red. This is a pipette. Pipette. This is a spatula. See, it looks like a knife. But it's not. But, yeah, it's a spatula. In the big fancy box is a barrette. And I'm not going to take it out because it's expensive and I don't want to break it. But it's in a white box. This is a Bunsen burner. This is what you burn things with. If you want to heat something up quicker, you get these like heat coil thingies. So you get your Bunsen burner and your heat coil. Yes. This is a flame loop. These are goggles. <laughs> this is wire gauze. This is a sparker. Or a striker. I don't know how to do it, but... <laughs> this is a thermometer. It has a yellow line. But the stirring rod does not have a yellow line, and it's not a thermometer, but they look kind of the same. These are test tube clamps. Tongs. Tongs. No, these are clamps. Oh, that is a clamp. This is a clamp. You clamp the test tube with it. These are beaker tongs. Like so. These are the crucible tongs. Yes. This is filter paper. It goes in the funnel. This will be told to you by Sarah. A mortar and pestle. This is a test tube tongs. They fit on the test tube. Thank you. I think we're done.